guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm out exploring today and I found some lovely examples of calcite crystals. So you can see one of the examples next to me here and you can see the lovely crystalline structure. So this type of calcite forms when there's a lot of space for the crystals to develop. But we're also going to explore some other types of calcite because there's some really lovely examples here in this exposure. So I hope you guys enjoy. So here's a closer up view of this amazing kind of cavity here that is just full of these calcite crystals. So you can see the formation is really, really clear. And it actually looks like this was quite a recent kind of exposure because you can see here the rock is quite red and fresh. And then if we come over to the left here, we can see that it's got like a covering of algae on it. So that's why these crystals are still so, um, their form is still so nice because they haven't really been exposed for that long but you can see the detailing. It's really amazing to see in a nice little snail down there. And then there's even bigger ones up the face here. So I'll zoom in for you guys. So you can see those, they're really amazing. Like they're, they get really large up there. And then down here we have a different type of calcite formation. So this is when, you know, it's a lot denser. There's not space for the crystals to form. So you can see the structure of the mineral like that. Well, uh, this is a really, really interesting uh, exposure. It's effectively a, a fissure which has been filled with, with uh, crystals of calcite through hot water flues passing through it. And it's, it's must be supposed to be five, six meters thick. So sometime maybe 290 million years ago, lots of fluids were passing through this and crystallizing out calcite. And where there were cavities, the crystals grew into lovely crystal forms. So it's really is quite spectacular, but it's saying something very interesting as well as about what was going on at this time in the, the area. A lot of tectonic activity, earthquakes, fissures and fluids passing through. Very interesting. Then here's another example of how calcite can form. All the seagulls just want to be centre of attention. They're on that rock right at the front there. We hear you. But anyway, back to the calcite. So you can see here the kind of interlocking of the crystals. So they have filled the space. So they would have formed in a cavity and there would have been enough flow of uh, water at the time to kind of form this interlocking structure you can see here. And I'll show you another example of this as well. It almost looks like jaws, you know, like teeth, just mineral form. And this is quite big, you can see it in my hand here. Like, look at that structure, how cool is that? Here is another fallen block of calcite, but showcasing those amazing interlocking crystals a bit more in detail. So you can see here that there are some points as well. It's just an amazing piece. I look at the size of those crystals. If I use my hand, you can see. Well, actually, my foot might be better. It's quite a big block, but really awesome. Look at that. There's another view of that same interlocking kind of calcite formation. So you can see the structure in this one and how the crystals kind of lock into one another. It's really spectacular. I've grown and just filled up the cavity. So that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and a massive thank you to Kevin Page as well for his input. As usual, my social media will be linked down below if you'd like to follow me on there. But I just thought I would share these amazing calcite exposures because I'm not sure how much longer they'll be here for. So I thought, put it in video form and they'll be here forever. But thank you again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next week.